Right underneath the SheridanCollege.ca web page address, you'll see in the top left corner the word Slate. And if you click on that, you'll get right to the Slate homepage. You'll need to log in with the password and the username that you use at the college. On the Slate page, you're going to see your classes listed. Yours will be look a little different than mine, but you should see them all there and click on Drawing Techniques. Once there, you'll see this page. The class number and the time will be your own, of course. Underneath class, Slate class number, you'll see a list of things, help, course administration, and then content. If you click on that, it will bring you to a page that will show you all the documents that you'll need for that week. Just click on the documents and you'll be able to open them and read them and even download them. So, for example, if you click on Assignment Due Dates, it will bring you to that page and you can print from there as well. While viewing the documents, you can scroll up and down or use the arrows in the top right-hand corner to move back and forth between documents. My main method of getting in touch with you when we're not in class, and I do a lot of that, is to email on Slate. So if you look up at the top and see that blue envelope, you'll get a drop-down box. I don't use instant messaging, but an email, as I say, I use an awful lot. And you can too, to email me. So if you click on email, it will bring you to that page. From here, you'll be able to open your emails, uh, compose new emails, and so on. But the problem is that you'd have to already know the address of the person that you want to email. An easier way to go about this is to go up to management, click on that, and you'll get a drop-down box. And you want then to go to class list. If you click on class list, it will bring you to the class list. Down at the bottom of the, our screen here, you'll see that the list of names that you can choose from is just beginning. And if you click on the box beside image, you could email the whole class. Or otherwise, you want to select the people that you want to choose to email. And my name will be among that list. And anytime you want to email me on C, which of course is my preferred way that you do is communicate with me through the week, just look down, scroll down, and you'll find me there. That's what you're seeing here, that all of the names down the whole complete list will be checked, and you'll be able to communicate with the whole class. Otherwise, you want to just put the check mark beside the name of the person that you're interested in. After you've selected the names of the person or persons that you wish to email, go back up to the top of the list and click on that icon. So here I am on the list, and you just put a check mark above to the envelope, and then you can write your message away and send it. To find and read a message, you have to drag that gray line just above no message selected. Drag it down, and it will reveal all of your emails that have come into your inbox. You must always, always Keep track of your grades here on Slate. To do so, go up to the top under class number, help, content, and go to assessments. And from there, you'll be taken to your page with your grades for drawing techniques. In the drop down box, click on grades and make sure that the grade that's on your evaluation paper is the one that shows up here see that I've begun to prepare the way I'm getting ready to enter your grades for the first assignment. You can also keep track of your attendance record. You go to management and find that drop down box. You'll see attendance and that will bring you to this page but you have to click again on attendance and then that will bring you to what you're looking for here. To return to this page at any time, click on your class number at the top and it will bring you back there. And to return to this page at any time, you click on the orange slate icon up beside your class number.